hello my dear friends welcome to this video in this video I'm gonna teach you how to make this mobile application with react native first of all let's see how this application works and what it does so this is our application it reads the number numbers in Spanish for us if you click on one uno as you can hear it's says the word, Spanish word of one if you click on two dos as you can see dos mean two in Spanish si es siete tres so the main goal in this in this tutorial is to learn how you can use the sound in react native so we're gonna make this application from the scratch but before doing that I show you the codes this is my project and this is how the code looks like okay we're gonna delete everything and make this application from the scratch I put it aside save and there we have nothing in our application but I have to tell you guys one thing before watching this video this video is not for the beginners if you are new to react native uh, so please don't watch this because this is not for very beginner but I will tell you the basic beginning things about how to set up the react native and how to run the simulator and that all I just talk about it okay so for the first thing you have to download the Android studio on your computer and install that once you did that to install the react native you just go open the visual code and go to your terminal and just write npx uh, npx react native initiate my project npx react native init for initiate and then your project name this one will install the react native inside your computer but to to, uh, you have to before that set up the NPX some options on your computer to do that first of all you have to go to the react native website and follow the instruction I will make a video about that in next days so no worries but if the video is ready please go to that video watch and come to this video okay once you have created your your project then you what you can do is to write NPX react native and start this will start the react native once you do that then open your emulator the emulator come from an android studio i will make a complete video about that one so no worries just write react native android start say start android run android say run android just npx react native for another and this will install the application into your android phone if you connect your uh, device into the computer it will be run on your own device but if you don't have an android device you can use this emulator okay that's enough talking now let's see how to make this application so to make this application we have a empty app.js file the first thing we want to do is to import the react from react native and after that i want to import many things which i don't know at the moment from from where from react native i want to import uh, so i imported the react and also the react native but from the react native what things i want to import is the first one is the text i also want to import the view the view and after that i want to import the scroll scroll view scroll view i also want to import the image and i also want to import the style sheet and the status bar and also the touchable opacity touchable see from react native once you did that for this project you need to install another react native library which is called react native sound to do that is very very easy you come to your powershell your terminal and just write 
this command npx install react native sound and it takes a few minutes to install that's it it's very easy okay once you have installed that one you have to import it into your project to do it just say import give it a name sound from from where from react native sound and that's all that's it make sure to put a semicolon at the end okay so we have imported everything we need now let's make the basic structure of our react application i name my application app which is equal to a narrow function a narrow function and this function will return this function will return what it will return something okay 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 and after that what i need to export default this app This is how we send this app to the React so React knows what to do next. Okay. Now what we need to do is let's see there's a red error. I see why I it's showing that. Okay, because we don't have anything inside the return. So once we did that let's go to the project folder this is my project folder I make an app folder inside it for for example I, you can call it anything I call it uh, things things something like that things and I have this voices if you play any of this you see tres diet this is all sounds of those numbers and, a, and also a logo I just copy this all and put it inside this things okay once you do that I now I want to import all of those sounds into my application to do that just write uh, I wanted to import them inside an array so type const I call it sound list which is equal to an array and now I use the require and after the require I put it is location so where is the location the files are inside things folder inside things where is the things let's open it this is it okay this is the voices I just type its name one dot wave and comma I copy this one and paste it again this time two three okay so I imported all of those sound files now I want to make some design for my application some buttons and a logo on the top so I when I press the buttons it plays these sounds specific to the button name for example if I press 1 it plays this one if I press 8 it press it plays this 8 that wave so let's design our application so inside our const app inside the return I can design my application the first thing is I want to use the scroll bar instead of a view I say scroll bar view scroll view and inside my scroll view I want the status bar okay I will tell you this later not now okay uh, now I want to import my image to import your image you just put the source you have to put the source I see when you put the source inside these brackets just write rig wire and put your image 
location so my image is located inside things folder and the name of my logo is let's see new logo.png new logo.png new logo.png and I have to close my image tag okay, save and there is my logo as you can see okay after the image I want to import all of these sounds and to do that I'm gonna use something called map the map can do it for us so to, to import something to write some code inside this return you have to use this bracket and put every code inside this bracket okay I want my which is my right name is sound links get some lens sound list dot map inside this map make another bracket you can give it any name which will be the name of each uh, element inside your array I call it sound and this sound is equal to an arrow function and the sound is a parameter of that one okay inside this function I design whatever I want to design so I want to design something like a button with the name of the sound which is one two three four five and something like that to do this to make a button you can use the touchable opacity which is like a button okay inside this touchable opacity what I gonna do is to I don't want anything inside this uh, I order I make a text inside this okay so make a text and close your text and I want to put the sound inside this one to display the numbers of elements inside there one two three four five so I save this one okay I got nothing why let's check soundless.map see where is the problem okay there's no problem there's no problem there's no problem in our application it displays those sounds but because the text is white we can't see that so wait later let's give it a style so I want to put a style for my text which to make a style we have to first make a style okay let's make a style here I make a style comes styles I give it the name of styles styles and this is equal to the style sheet dot create and inside this create we have an object inside this object I give it a name for example this one is text so I call it text then I give a font size of maybe 15 and also I want to give it a color the color of this color ff for tree uh, for three zero one which is like a red color if I save okay we have now have to apply this text into our text so right space style equal to inside the bracket I type styles dot text so if I save I still can't see anything let's change this to red okay let's find out what's the problem okay there's a problem because we didn't put a view for this one so we have to put everything inside a view to do that just type view and we have to wrap everything inside this view and just like that just like that now I have to uh, let's see sound.map 
sound of sound okay this is not this bracket this is this bracket okay 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 now we have it you see one two three you have to be very careful to not put the brackets on wrong, wrong. for example this is curly bracket this is simple bracket you have to be careful with that okay so we have our sound we let map from the sound list and this is our sound and we have attachable opacity and that's all but as you can see we give an error it says each child and a list should have a unique key so we have to give our each element a key to do that inside this attachable opacity i write key is equal to sound now there is gone as you can see okay well uh what is i want this okay i think that that's enough for this one now let's give them styles okay for our touchable opacity for a button i want to give it a style which is equal to i gave it a name styles dot box and i also want to give a, this a style for, for my view i say style equal to styles dot i call this one great great container and i also want to give a style to my image style equal to so you have to be very patient while making an application dot logo call this one logo and i also want to give a style to my scroll view style equal to styles dot i call this one container okay that's enough now let's start and uh, now let's write those styles so come to your style sheet here first i want to after the text i want to give style to my container i say I want to display everything on a flex so I use flex 1 if you don't know what the flex are there's many videos on YouTube you can watch or maybe in the future I also make a complete video about it I set a background color for this one and this background color should be slash 1b to 6 to c okay okay don't worry about that error okay and after that i want to give some style to my logo and the logo gonna uh, the logo should be in the center so i align item no no this should be itself align self at the center and this has a margin of 50 and after that i want some style to my great container okay let, let's write all of this elements then i give them style make sure to put the comma box and what else we have we have nothing let's save it and let's see how it looks so the style doesn't exist okay why there's a style okay this there's a problem style styles okay now we have a nice background color okay and after that let's give a style to my great container the first thing i have to do is i want to give my great container to be flex so it's a flex one and i want to give some margin to it a five I want the direction of the flex to be row flex direction now it's on column I want to put the direction as row we save you see now it's on a row and after that I want to unwrap everything inside the flex wrap flex wrap is equal to wrap and after that I want to align items Align items into flex start 
and after that I want to justify content justify content a space around okay now it looks very very nice okay after that I want to give a style to every element and that's the box is four so inside the box I give it a height of 110 and after that I want to give it I want to center everything but before that let's give it a, a background color background color of maybe slash 0f4c75 and now you have that background color after that I want to give it a width so a width okay I have to put a comma width a width of 46 person let's save it yeah now it looks much better okay let's align the items at the center I also want to justify content at the center now they are center after that you want to give them a margin a vertical margin margin of vertical and I give it a 6 now they are separated ok after that I want to give it a border radius of 5 and I just want to give it a shadow color a shadow color of 39 and 3e for 6 and I just want to give it an elevation of 5 ok now they looks really nice they looks cool and nice our logo also look nice at the center and we have nice buttons but they do nothing we have to give them some functionality so they play the sound for us to do that we come back to our concept return we can give a functionality to a button which is this attachable opacity to give it a functionality we just write on press so it means what will happen when our button is pressed so we say this can run a function for example my function name could be sound play but we want to pass a parameter to our function and that parameter is sound you can't do it like this it doesn't work it give an error we can't do that in react native to do that we have something called empty empty callback something like that we have to use that so how empty callback work this is very very easy you just write empty brackets this is this is actually a empty or arrow bracket arrow function and inside this bracket you just type your function name which is which I will call it place sound play which I will make it later and inside this one I get past my parameter which is sound that easy okay now let's make this this sound play function and this sound play function is equal to equal to an arrow function this is an arrow function okay but what it passes this sound so you have to pass that one to our function we just write it here after that to play the sound we make another const of sound the variable for example and this is equal to new as you remember we have imported the sound from react native sound and this is equal to new sound and inside this one the first parameter is our sound itself so what is the sound in this state our sound is the parameter so we just copy and call it sound comma now we have to write um, sound dot main bundle this is something default of this react native sound library you have to write that and after that we can uh, take care of errors which you can see error and this error if there is an error what it does is run a function if there is an error we just console.log 
Okay. Can't. Can't play. Can't play the sound. We just put this on the console if there is any error. Okay, and that's all. And that's all. Okay, okay, once done. Now we can play our sound. Our sound is now inside this sound variable. To play that one, we, we have to use a timer to play. We can't play that directly. You have to use a timer. So I say set timeout. Set timeout. I want to play this one, give it a hundred. And I just write my sound variable dot play. That easy. You can play your sound. But because this is an application, a mobile application, it uh, when you play a sound, it uses some of memory. You have to release that one. So just type sound uh, variable, your sound variable, and dot release. That's it. Let's save it. Let's see if it works. Uno. Yes, it works. Cuatro. Siete. Ocho. Tres. As you can see, when on any button I press, it reads the voice of that specific button. Okay guys, I hope you learned something in this video. So in this video, you'll learn how to make an application, how you use sound uh, library of React Native. I hope you learned something. If you have any question about this, uh, this tutorial, let me know in the comment below. And if you didn't understand anything because you're not because you're a beginner, beginner, uh, I will make a complete video how to install everything from the from the start to A to Z. A to Z. I will make that video. So if you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Have a great time.